Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft. We're doing Minecraft videos. I got my own Minecraft server. This is my little base. I'm going to have to edit. If I teleport to home, I'm going to have to edit the coordinates so you can't find it. For obvious reasons, if you want to play on this one, I will probably put the link to the server thing in the description. Just checking my connection is all good. Okay, we're good. Now we're going to... We're going to be doing some explanations. So, for example, slash trigger. Now, obviously, being my server, I have access to the, um, you know, opt. I'm opt, so I can access, you know, all the commands, but you can't. So, trigger spawn set one. That is a trigger command anyone can use, and this will entitle you the ability to teleport to spawn. Which you'll notice has a and a portal in it. That's there. You cannot break any blocks. Trust me, there is no way you're gonna break this. It's you know you're gonna be mining for days. <laughs> you know you're gonna have to sit here for ages to fi freaking break that shit. And you go notice these little servers. They're all proximity based, so make sure you stand right in front of them when you do it. Uh, now, with the benefit of not taking actual currency off you like this, it doesn't take currency off you that. I had a problem with that. I forgot. Um, I fixed that. So, they're all fixed. I've actually tested them all to make sure they don't take this. You buy some arrows? Oh, the oh I added the pick. I thought I, I thought I might have not added the pick. I couldn't remember if I added it or not. But it seems I've added it. What's going on with my mouse DPI? It seems to do that a bit. Uh, diamond helmet, diamond bow, you know, all that stuff. It does have some signs like trigger, del, home, and set number. Um, number is the home number you want to delete. So we'll go over the next command, which is going to be slash, and I'm going to go to a different home because I don't really care if you know the coordinates of this one. Um, let's go trigger home. Uh, this is to teleport to a home. I'm going to go set, and I'm going to go three. Right? So set the number to the, when you go home, you want to set it to the number of the home. So if it's home one, you want to set it to one. If it's home a million, you want to set it to a million because there's no limit. You can have as many homes as there is numbers and there's basically infinite numbers. I suppose technically it is limited by how much you can put in chat, but you know, by that time you've got that many homes. It, it I don't, I don't see, you know, you're literally gonna, uh, you're not gonna probably ever need that many, but, you know, you can add as many as fits into the chat, I suppose. Technically, it's infinite way the co way the code works, but, you know, you can only type in so many characters to the chat, I suppose, if you had a command block or something, I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's go this, as you notice. Now, I'm old, this is the mine, my bad, I forgot, I forgot this is the mine one, um, I don't really have anything good on me, so I don't really care, but, you know, this is just going to be a quick intro video, I might just, just to show you off, it might be a 15 minute long, I might do some, like, actual gameplay, um, the survival video will be, this is going to be called, you know, just show off, uh, just a bit, I don't know what I'm going to call this, I'm gonna, you know, something along the lines of, uh, demonstration, maybe, something like that, I'm just constantly checking my ping, yeah, I okay. I don't think I have been. Okay. We're going to go slash spawn. You can't do that. You have to go slash trigger. Right? Trigger. Spawn. Set. One. Now you're thinking... Oh, yeah. Another thing is, if you phase into the floor, you do tend to phase into the floor a bit. Uh, just don't panic. Um, that will sort itself out, just give it a minute, and it will, it will put you back up to where you should be. Um, I recommend with doing that, do not have a hole. So say this is where I've set my spawn, do not have like a two, I'd say about three blocks underneath, make sure those are covered with actual block, or if when you phase through the ground, there is a bit of a glitch with that phase through the ground, you can get stuck in that little hole underneath the block you've set the spawn, the set home to. Now to set a home, you go slash trigger set home set um, whatever home number you have. So if you set it to an existing number, it will override. If you do not set it to an existing number, it will like 
if you don't have a two and you set it to two, it will add two. If you set it to one and you already have one, it will override the one. So it will override automatically whatever one you was. So if you can do that very easy, if you want to override home, if you want to delete home, whatever number of the home you want to delete, these will not break if you do not type in an actual number that exists. Uh, that's just a proximity warning. That's the spawn and earn money by this. Okay, so yeah, basically, I gotta put another sign in, but um, I gotta fix that. It's slash set home, as you can see, delete home. And don't forget, you can also do spawn. There is another ability to teleport to home, as you've seen, and you just do. Now, I don't know how long this is, but I don't care. And I've got, I don't have much money on me, so basically, it's a scoreboard command money. You push, as you can see, I'm pushing the tab. This is the money in the tab. It will show you up all your monies. And we're going to just get in here. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. So I'd, I'd stand about here, because there's literally no way they're going to get closer to you than this. And click on the button. So stand right in front of it when you click on the button so there is no chance because it is proximity based. I can make it execute by using custom signs on an at uh, S which means whoever clicks on the sign it will do. However I already had set up the command block shop before I knew I could do that and before I actually saw someone use that function pack that you can get or you can get but you know obviously the function pack is well he's not showing you how to get he's actually showing you how to make it and if you get past spawn you'll notice these effects weakness and this this is infinite this will always be on you so you don't run out of food which I think is a really good idea uh, the weakness and mining fatigue they're outside the spawn areas or anything I don't want at the moment that's set as a non-breaking thing so um, if I get said that as you can see it's constantly updating the 10 second effect so as soon as I'm out of the affected area which is, I believe, uh, about 100 meters and 110 100 block radius and 110 block radius, there'll be no mob spawning and spawn because anything that, you know, I don't have anything to leave it with. Mm. Let's see if I can get it to go into spawn. Uh, it's an entity that isn't a player. Basically, they'll die. I'm going to see if I can mm. yeah. get inside that spawn radius. No, good day. Be cooperative, sheep. This random going to kill you with my actual physical attack. It doesn't want to go in there, but I don't have anything to lead it with. Uh, can I lead it with cloud? No. If I did, I would lead it in there and it would just instantly die. And there is a. I haven't set it so that it die. I've just set it so anything that isn't a player will die in this radius. So I'm in the radius. I'm not actually in the radius, am I? Uh, I don't know. Oh, there I am. I'm in the radius now. I may have overdone it with the glowstone trying to. That was attempt to keep the mobs out, you know, by putting glowstone in. But like I said, it didn't really work out too well. So they still spawned in. I thought it was like you couldn't be so far from. There was still spawning. Maybe it's just torches. I thought it worked for anything that emitted light, but apparently it must just work for torches. Mm. But yeah. Oh, the sprinting actually makes you jump further. I didn't know that. I don't really sprint much, but I've changed the key so I can actually sprint because the shift key is really hard to do for me. Because it, I think it also does crouch. Right? I know I've got, I've got the key down changed so I can sprint easier. Anyway. You buy items, you can buy the Electra, uh, I think that's about it. I, I've showed you the trigger, showed you all the custom effects, uh, I've showed you you can't go inside this, you can't find inside this spawn radius, the other one's the weakness, so you won't do any damage to anything, which is why when mobs were spawning I was concerned, because then you would, you know, you can still get attacked by mobs, they can attack you, but you can't attack them, because it's set to at, at player, and you don't really want mobs spawning inside the... Even if they couldn't attack you, you don't want them spawning inside your spawn area because it's a bit unfair. Mm. Like, you know... Like, creepers especially, because a creeper, you know, even with weakness, it doesn't do a melee attack. What it does is it explodes, and that's to do some damage to you. I've also turned mob grief off, I believe. I believe that's off, so... 
Mulgrave should be off. I don't know if it is. Just bear with me if it isn't. Uh, I think that's everything. Next week we'll be doing definitely uh, another actual, you know, we're doing a longer video on the survival. I'm going to call this one intro video, you know, introductions to my Minecraft server. I think that's a good name for it. Put a like in the comment. Uh, put a like in the description, whatever. Put a, leave a like if you like it, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I demand it. <laughs> okay. Uh, good job.